good evening all welcome to the new session that is we will try to see some interesting t signs at t time so what are the interesting t signs we will see first is tubal ring sign so whenever you suspect an ectopic pregnancy and when you when you have not seen any other uh, gestational sac in the endometrial cavity and you have seen an adnexal mass and you are suspecting a tubal uh, suspecting an ectopic pregnancy definitely search for tubal ring sign so whenever you see an adnexal mass which is surrounded by echogenic ring apart from the uterus and ovaries uh, they definitely suspect ectopy pregnancy. So this tubal ring sign has a positive predictive value of 95% and sometimes ring of fire sign can be seen along this along the tubal ring sign. So this is that case where you can see this is the adnexial mass where the UPT was positive and there is no gestational sac in the endometrial cavity and also on color doppler you can see this is the classical ring of fire sign around the tubal ring sign. So this was a case of right tubal ectopic but uh, because ring of fire sign is not sensitive for uh, ectopic pregnancy because it may be also seen in normal mature follicle or corpus luteal cyst so we'll try to see other cases this is also a case of right tubal ectopic where you can see this is the uh, some ill-defined gestation sac like structure noted in the right tubal region which is surrounded by tubal ring sign and uh, here on we will i will play the video for you here you can see this is that tubal ring sign and also other case this is also a tubal ring sign which is surrounded by ring of fire sign so whenever you see an adnexal mass uh, with tubal ring sign definitely suspect ectopic pregnancy next this is that uh, intraoperative film where you can see this is the right tubal ectopic this is the uterus uh, this is the right ovary this is the right tubal ectopic Next, what is Strum sign or Barrett sign? Generally, uh, fetal cranial ossification starts at 9 weeks of pregnancy. And uh, by 11 weeks of pregnancy, you can easily see the ossification of the frontal bone in fetus in actual frontal pains. But in this case, you can see there is no ossification of the frontal bone. And the brain structures are covered by tri rippling uh, thin membranes similar to meninges. This nothing but this is the classical Trump or Barrett sign. So this uh, whenever the brain tissue is surrounded by th thin rippling uh, membrane which mimic uh, similar to meninges. This is nothing but the Trump or Barrett sign because this mimics the hair of the Trump. So this Barrett, whenever you see this Barrett sign, definitely suspect ecrania and follow the case because it may turn out into exencephaly and anencephaly. Because normally the frontal bone, whenever the frontal bone is there, the brain is uh, protected from the uh, amniotic fluid. But absence of the frontal bone makes the brain exposed to harmful effect of the amniotic fluid that is increased urea concentration and even mechanical injuries which leads to exencephaly and later to anencephaly. And remember Mickey Mouse sign where there are semicircular structures hovering over the surface of the fetus mimicking the round ears of Mickey Mouse it is, which is classical for exencephaly and frog eye or frog face sign in anencephaly. So whenever you see uh, thick ecogenic uh, membranes and lack of ossification of the frontal bone in 11 weeks of pregnancy definitely suspect Trump sign or Barrett sign which is uh, classical for ecrania. Next, what is T sign? T sign is nothing but absence of twin peak sign. This normally the twin peak sign, this is the nothing but the chorionic tissue. Whenever the chorionic tissue extends into the intertwin membrane, this is nothing but the twin peak sign or lambda sign, which indicates dichorionic pregnancy. But absence of the chorionic tissue extension into the intertwin membrane, this leads to classical T sign. So the T sign is nothing but absence of twin peak sign and it indicates monochorionic pregnancy. So whenever you see T sign, suspect monochorionic pregnancy. Whenever you see lambda sign, suspect dichorionic pregnancy or dichorionic placenta. So this is the typical twin peak or lambda sign where you can see the chorionic tissue extended in the intertwin membrane. So this is a dichorionic pregnancy. Next, what is T2 flare mismatch sign? You can see here there is the lesion which is hyper intense on T2 but heterogeneously hypo intense on flare and surrounded by peripheral hyper intense rim. So the difference, difference between the signal intensity on the T2 and the flare is called as T2 flare mismatch sign. T2 flare mismatch sign is uh, pathognomonic for IDH mutant 1P19Q non-codulated glyomas which with specificity is as high as 100% but this T2 flare has, uh, mismatch sign can be also seen in other cases like DNET. So we'll try to see what are the other cases where the uh, T2 flare mismatch sign can be seen. So the T2 flare mismatch sign can be also seen in DNets, can be also seen in parenchymal cysts, tube effective demyelination and pleomorphic xanthoastrocytomas. So here this is other case where you can say the lesion is hyper intense on T2, hypo, heterogeneous hypo intense on flare but surrounded by hyper intense rim and showing incomplete ring enhancement and the ring is open away from the ventricles. So this was a case of tube effective demyelination also showing T2 flare mismatch sign. Next, what is turtle back sign? Turtle back sign is seen in case of chronic hepatic cystosomiasis where there will be dystrophic calcification within the polygonal network of fibrosepta are seen in the periphery 
and often perpendicular to the liver capsule so this mimics the back of the turtle so this is that uh, turtle back sign seen in case of chronic hepatic cystosomiasis uh, it's maybe associated with fibrosis but not always with cirrhosis next uh, we will see torticelli bernoulli sign Torricelli Bernoulli sign nothing but denotes non dependent air trapped in the necrotic ulcer in gist. So, this is the non dependent air trapped in the case of necrotic ulcer. Here also, see this is the non dependent air along with few necrotic foci noted in the ulcer in case of a gist. So, remember Torricelli Bernoulli sign in case of uh, necrotic ulcers in gist. Next, what is trident sign? Trident sign is nothing but classically seen in case of uh, osmotic demyelination, where you can see this is the central hyperintense area noted in the central pontine region with sparing of the corticos descending corticospinal tracts. So, this mimics the trident and also the whole MR images of the pons mimics the face of the pig. So, this is also called as pig sign, face of the pig sign or piglet sign. So, remember trident sign and face of pig sign or piglet sign in osmotic demyelination. Next, what is thumb sign? Thumb sign is seen in case of uh, clival cardomas where the hyperintense mass arising from the clivus indents over the brainstem. So, this is the typical thumb sign. So, thumb sign seen in clival cardomas and also remember thumb printing sign in ischemic bowel disease and thumb print sign or thumb sign in epiglottitis. Next, what is tadpole sign? Tadpole sign is typically seen in case of bridging vein thrombosis where the bridging vein mimics the tadpole. This is the head of the tadpole and this is the tail of the tadpole. And so, whenever you see extraaxial collections with tadpole-like appearance in case of bridging vein, bridging vein thrombosis, definitely suspect non-accidental trauma. So, remember tadpole sign or lollipop sign in bridging vein thrombosis in non-accidental trauma. And also other lollipop sign you can remember is hepatic epithelial hemangioendothelioma, where the hepatic or portal vein branches seen terminating at the edge of the lesion in case of hepatic epithelial hemangioendothelioma. Next, what is tree in bud sign? You all know. So, this is the classical tree in bud sign or tree in bud appearance where there will be multiple uh, centilobular nodules of soft tissue attenuation connected to multiple branching patterns. So, mimicking the tree in bud. So, this tree in bud sign is seen in endobronchial tuberculosis but we have also seen in congenital cause like cystic fibrosis, connective tissue rose like rheumatoid arthritis and even malignancies like back and even metastasis. Next, T-shaped uterus. TB endometritis typically mimics T-shaped uterus. So, remember this T-shaped uterus in case of TB endometritis. Next, tram track sign. This is the tram track sign classically seen in case of optic no meningioma. But remember, tram track can be also seen in bronchiectasis, Schwarz Weber syndrome, tram track in pulmonary edema, trolley track in ankylosing spondylitis, and even tram track appearance in mucoid degeneration in PCL. Next, what are the different tail signs you have to remember? Facial tail sign and MR tail sign I will be discussing. Pause the slides and see all the other tails which are important in radiology you have to remember. So, this is what is that uh, facial tail sign. This is the facial tail sign where there will be an extension of the small high, small linear tail like extension seen in the desmoid fibromatosis. So, this is the small tail like extension along the fascia seen in case of this is the facial tail sign in case of desmoid fibromatosis and this is the typical uh, staghorn sign in case of desmoid and also this is the uh, MR tail sign in case of soft tissue sarcoma. This was a case of soft tissue sarcoma and this is the tail like extension from the mass. This is the en en enhancing mass with the tail sign. We have to remember MR tail sign in soft tissue sarcoma. This is the uh, comet tail sign classically seen in round atelectasis. So, what are the different uh, signs we have uh, studied? Uh, this is the twin peaks and a lambda sign, typically see mimic, typically indicating dichorionic pregnancy, whereas the T sign is absence of twin peak sign, which indicates monoconiac pregnancy. Tubal ring sign, definitely suspect ectopic pregnancy. Trump sign or Barrett sign, sus typically suspect acrania and follow the case for acrania, exencephaly, anencephaly sequence. Turtle back appearance seen in chronic uh, uh, cystosomiasis, hepatic cystosomiasis. T2 flare mismatch sign seen in uh, 1P19Q non correlated gliomas. And this is the Torricelli Bernoulli, Bernoulli sign in case of gist. Trident sign in case of osmotic demyelination. And uh, tadpole sign or bridging vein thrombosis in case of non accidental trauma. So, other th T signs are thymic notch or sail sign, spinnaker tail sign, these are the other signs. And different target signs in radiology I will discuss in the coming lectures. Thank you all.